What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video from the Daily Guna and me, Daily Guna Ryan. Today's episode is a new series called Ryan's Ratings, which I'll be rating all the players that played in the previous game. For this one, it's uh, against Man United in a nil-nil draw that we played yesterday. It was a fairly even game, I think. Not many chances either side, but let's get straight into the video. The first player I'm rating is goalkeeper Bernd Leno. I think he made some great saves in the game, especially the one from Fer uh, Fred, which he clawed out of the top corner. And for big Bernd Leno, I'm going to give him an 8. I think that's a very solid rating from him, a solid game. Another clean sheet. So yeah, I give Bernd Leno a number 8. Next one is Hector Bellerin at right back. I think Hector had a very solid game. He he didn't really notice he was there and that's the biggest compliment that I could give Hector a solid game again another clean sheet didn't really do much going forward solid defensively so I'm going to give Hector a number 7 moving on uh, next one is Rob Holden I think Rob had a very very solid game he was outstanding at the back with the back 4 he, he cleared everything up he didn't give Cavani a sniff really and for that reason I'm giving big Rob Holden eight and same again with David Luiz I think he was absolutely phenomenal next to Rob Holden he didn't give Cavani Rashford or anyone even Fernandez a sniff he cleared all crosses yeah so I'm gonna give David Luiz an eight as well next one is Cedric who played out of position again at left back he was incredibly solid he had Rashford and Wan-Bissaka double teaming him but I think he had a very solid game again. He was outstanding in a different position. So I'm going to give Cedric also an 8. Moving on to the midfield. And the first one is Granit Xhaka. Much aligned. Uh, Granit is with the Arsenal fan base. I think he had a very, very, very good game. He was just solid in the middle of the pitch next to Thomas Partey. And I think he's growing since Boxing Day. He's growing into an absolute leader of the team and he hasn't really put a foot wrong since he come back from his red card so with Granit I'm going to also give him an 8 and for Granit's partner Thomas Partey I'm going to give a 7 mainly because it was his first 90 minutes since he'd been back from injury he was alright in the game he gave away the ball quite a few times it wasn't his best game and he admitted it himself after but still solid so I'm going to give him a 7 uh, yeah, so seven for Thomas Partey. Moving on up the pitch to our front four and Nicola Pepe. I'm giving Nicola Pepe a nine because he was my man of the match. He dragged Arsenal forward every time he got a chance. He should have scored, had three or four chances where he should have scored, created the most chances, had numerous ball recoveries. He defended well. He tracked back, helped Bellerin out as much as possible. He influenced the game that we want Pepe to do every week and something has clicked with Nicola Pepe and it's working and so long may it continue. But yeah, Pepe is my man of the match and I'm giving him a number 9. Moving on to the number 10 position and Emil Smith-Rowe. I'm giving Emil Smith-Rowe a number 7 mainly because I feel like the game kind of got away from him at some point. He looked kind of tired but saying that he defended really well he helped out his midfield partners he didn't really put a foot wrong he dragged us forward with Pepe giving Pepe numerous 1v1 chance uh, opportunities against the defenders kept the ball well defended from the front so yeah seven for Smith Rowe moving on to the left hand side of the front three I'm um, Gabriel Martinelli I'm giving Gabriel a number seven I feel like he could have influenced the game a little bit more he kind of defended a lot more than he should have and then he got taken off at half time so I'm giving Gabriel Martinelli a 7. Moving on to centre forward and Alex Lacazette I feel like he had a really 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 good game leading from the front he came off injured so hopefully he's all okay but he defended well from the front he created some chances got into the box held the ball out well for the team linked up play really good for with his forward partners so I'm giving Lacazette an 8 and now the substitutes uh, Willian came on at half time for Martinelli got into the game a little bit more as it went a lot, uh, on he missed an opportunity which he probably should have scored given the quality that he, he does possess but he 
grew into the game. It was one of his better performances in recent recent weeks. Can't really fault him for much. He had 45 minutes, so I'm going to give him a six, which I think is uh, good for him because he came on as a sub, obviously, and he did affect the game a little bit. But yeah, a six for Willian. And then Martin Odegaard came on in the 81st minute. Got into the game a little bit, had a few nice touches, linked up well with Lacazette and the two wide players. I'm going to give Martin a six as well. And the last sub, Eddie Nketiah. Felt sorry for Eddie, came on with one and a half minutes left of the game to go. Couldn't really affect the game or get the ball as much as we would have all hoped he would have. So I'm going to give Eddie a five. For my final ratings, I'm going to rate the manager, Mikel Arteta. I'm going to give Mikel a seven. I felt like his substitutions could have been a little bit more proactive in bringing an Odegaard a little bit quicker. Smith Rowe did look kind of tired towards the end of the game, so the infusion of uh, fresh legs would have probably helped. But overall, solid game uh, from the team and from Arteta. So team selection was probably spot on. Our strongest we could have got, obviously, missing Tierney, Aubameyang and Saka. But yeah, solid game. United haven't beaten us this season. And that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us out with bringing extra content, which we're trying to do daily. Stay up to date with all of us. I'll leave the links to our Twitter in the description and subscribe to our Patreon. I've said previous that you get the whole catalog of our content early, you get it before everyone else. It gets uploaded there before it gets uploaded to YouTube. Five pound a month, you get all of that, you get entered into giveaways, get entered into a chat room with us where we talk football all the time with our subscribers. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video again and I'll see you again soon.